So in our last comping video, we showed you a systematic way of practicing three note words for comping. That exercise covered all 56 three note words that fit a four, four measure. For today's video, we have prepared some two and four measure words focusing on anticipations and the essential challenging dotted quarter hemiola. This will be a nine step exercise that you can practice every day. Choose any standard that you want and apply the entire exercise to that standard. You'll kill two birds with one stone. You'll practice the rhythms and you'll memorize the tune. Let's get started. Step one, we're gonna use this four note rhythm that fits inside of two measures. We're in four, four. Notice how the first two hits are on a downbeat while the next two hits are on upbeats. So in a two chord per measure progression, we would play the first two chords above these first two notes. But we'll anticipate this chord here and play the same chord on the last note. So if there's a last chord here, we're not gonna play it. Remember, you don't have to play all the chords in a progression when you're comping. I like to practice the rhythm over a simple chord first. Now, play it over an entire jazz standard. Step two, for this rhythm, remember to start on the pickup so you don't miss the first chord. All the notes anticipate the following chord. Practice it over a single chord for a few measures and then over your entire tune. This is a variation of rhythm A. Now we're anticipating this chord and we're still not playing on the last chord here. Step four. Now we're shifting the last hit to anticipate the last chord on the second measure. Step five, all right. Now we're gonna practice the dotted quarter hemiola. This comping pattern is only built using dotted quarters. So it creates a three beat loop over a four, four measure. This will screw up your perception of the meter big time because you'll start feeling a three, four measure grid over a four, four progression. Trust me, it'll get disorienting, but being able to play hemiolas like this one is a great skill to develop. Some players use their ears to find their place in the progression. Others try to internally count the beat while they're playing. But in the following exercises, I'll show you a more systematic way to practice this hemiola so that your playing over time will become more intuitive. The first thing to understand is that this dotted quarter hemiola pattern recycles on the downbeat every third measure. And that complicates things even further because chord progressions are usually organized in groups of two, four, or eight measures. So we're gonna develop this hemiola by practicing specific comping words based on the hemiola over two measures and four measures. The first word is this two measure word. As you can see, it starts with two dotted quarters. We could write this rhythm like this, dotted quarter, dotted quarter, but for these exercises, we're gonna notate the dotted quarter in a way that helps us see the four four grid a little better. So instead of writing dotted quarter, dotted quarter, we're writing dotted quarter, and an eighth note tied to a quarter. 
Now we can clearly see how this hit is an anticipation, which are all labeled in the PDF. By the way, this quarter on the last beat of the measure, tied to a half note, will also be in anticipation. You'll also notice at this level, we're only executing three hits over the dotted quarter grid. This last hit here is only there to help us recover our orientation to our 4-4 meter. It also affords us an even number of hits to match the likely number of chords present in the progression. Step six, this one is two measures again, but this time with five hits. In step seven, we're gonna double the measures we're using to four measures, add another hit. So now we have six hits, and the last two measures are used to recover the perception of the 4-4 grid. Eight, four measures again, this time with seven hits. Don't forget to pay attention to where these labeled anticipations are in the PDF. Step nine, this is the entire three measure hemiola and we're using that last measure to recover. And if you're an absolute sadist or a glutton for punishment, you can play this three measure hemiola over an entire standard, just omit that last recovery uh, measure. This will screw up your entire form, but it's definitely a really fun and challenging exercise to embark on. Thanks again for joining us today. All of our members will have access to a PDF of today's exercise. So if you'd like to become a member, go ahead and click on that join button or the link down below. If you are joining today and would like access to previous content, go ahead and check out our music theory journals, which is basically an almanac of all the stuff we've done for the past year. YouTube seems to think you're gonna like one of these two videos here, so stick around and check one of those out. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.